so we just finished stripping out. This property is going to purchase for £200,000, uh, 100k refurb, and then using the commercial product, we're going to be pulling out the money. So what we've done now, we've finished the stripping out, so now we're going to start doing the structural work. So if you'd like to follow me, show them around the property. So the scaffolding is going up, so we're going to be doing a rear extension at the back. This, this double garage here is going to be coming down and we're going to be building up and putting a pitched roof on and turning it into two ensuite rooms. So we're going to rip these doors out and we're going to be putting out a new door, taking out all the plastering, putting a new consumer unit. Come in, come in. Entering into the main hallway. Um, if you're online, say hi now. And if you've got any questions, we'll read them out at the end and we'll answer them. Okay, this is going to be the main foyer. So, as you can see, we've stripped down all the walls. Um, we've pulled out all the electrics. Um, come in, come in. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this wall out. We're going to rip all this out here. This is going to get extended to two and a half metres back. And then we're going to extend over here. Half a meter. Come around, you can meet the rest of the team. <laughs> Alright guys, tell the team, introduce yourself. Go for it. Hello, I'm Melton. Uh, so what no, what do you do, Melton? <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? So uh, hi I'm Melton, I'm the financial director of the company. Nice, I'm Tim. Um, I do I do everything, so I'm uh, very, very multi-skilled, um, but mainly on the investment side, so just going over a couple of things we're looking at doing um, here at the moment, so. Alright, come through. So, we're going to be building a wall here, closing up this arch. And then this space here, yeah, so we're going to be building a doorway into this, and then this is going to be another ensuite unit. Come through. So come through, come through. So what was weird about this house is we had this massive hole here when we purchased it. So we took out the floor and we were just going to fill it full of rubble and then concrete over it basically. Um, come around. So this was the old kitchen, we're going to rip this out. So you know in the other room I told you that we're going to be taking this wall down, so this is going to be a really, really long kitchen and including in the extension room. They're going to have the utility room located here. And it's where we'll put the boiler, the washing machine to keep it separate from the room. Where you're standing now over that hole, that's going to be another room, an ensuite room. Um, the room. There's no light here, so we're not going to go in there. But this is basically the garage, the extension. Come, come closer, come closer, come closer. Pass me the phone. So you've got the basically the back door there. This corridor is going to get ripped out and be part of the new extension. You've got to follow me upstairs. So we're going to keep the stairs in the original position. Um, as you can see, we ripped out all the ceiling because it's a complete mess. As you can probably tell, these walls, the plaster was directly skimmed onto it. So that's an old style of skimming on directly onto brick and primarily they would use lime plaster. But what we're going to do, just because there's always going to be movement in a property, regardless of how new or old it is. So the best thing to do is put plasterboard on and then you can get your wires behind all that and then skim on top of the plasterboard. And then regardless where the bricks or the house moves, the plasterboard will still be fine. And it provides a much better finish. This is a really, really small room, what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be extending out here, ripping all this down if you come close to the window. So you can see the roof, the edge of the roof there. We're going to be ripping off all these tiles and then this is going to be a double storey room and then we're going to be building an ensuite room here. This, the ensuite is going to be here for the room next door. And then, you'll, this is a bit difficult to explain without the actual plan, so we'll update you as that happens. Another double room. Um, so it's going to be a doorway here, and the ensuite's going to be next door. Um, and then the lucky side will have this room. Naturally, we're going to be keeping the lime green suite as a favourite of all the tenants. Um, there's going to be this was the bathroom, so we're going to be 
making the doorway here, blocking this off, and this is going to be an ensuite room. this huge room to themselves. Um, in preparation, if you just want to point the camera up, so we've ripped down all the roof because we're taking, we're fitting a completely new roof. So all these um, joists are going to come out, all the roof struts are all going to get ripped down, and that's why the scaffolding's up outside. So let's go, I'll take you outside now and I'll show you what we're going to do from the back. So all this, all this brickwork is going to get torn down and we're going to be extending out here so this space is going to get utilised. The, um, this, this extension here is going to get extended to here, roughly around about here. We're just waiting for the architectural drawings before we start digging. So, just come down, pass me the phone. Alright, we're really excited for this project. It's going to be a nice... So, just seeing this one, so you can see the single story extension. What's going to happen, we're going to take down the roof, bring that extension all the way to the existing extension, and so it's a, a really large apex roof, and you can see how the roof slopes all the way down. Oh, sorry, camera's angles there. Um, so we're going to take all those roofs, um, tiles off, rip them all out and then we're going to build it straight up and then have the roof a lot higher. So this is the old garage so unfortunately there's no footings underneath that so we're going to have to rip that down, build, build in the footings and then build it back up. Hopefully that roof can uh, take their weight. They've been putting on a lot of weight due to these uh, holidays. Um, the joy with this project as well, so the garden is pretty large but also parcel of land on the side so that is included in the property so we're going to be using that space for parking for all the tenants and the future plan is there's a bungalow there and we're hoping to purchase that to then turn this into a little student village um, but we still need to approach them okay if anyone's got any questions I can answer them now for you Oh, seems to be all, all very sensible. Thank you for all the support. Um, if you want more information about the project we do, if you go to www.thekmlgroup.com, like the sign there, you can see it, all very professional. Um, you to see about the investment opportunities, get updates from all the projects that we do. Right, I'm going to head off now. Have a, an amazing weekend. And it's uh, back to London. Take care. <laughs>